the piano will be stayed set in the second system. And there is a hemiola passage that occurs at the bottom of the page. Um, so that's a real typical rhythmic characteristic of Brahms. You hear the theme restated at the top of the second page, right after letter B. And some more hemiolas. Scherzo section ends on page 137. And So in the trio section, the um, key shifts to B major. Um, the clarinet's still written in, in a flat key, so um, it's written in, in D flat, and it sounds a whole step lower in C flat. Um, but it's more sustained, and so this has this typical piano writing where it's very chordal, so really, you know, double notes in both hands for the piano. You have a new theme, so a new theme and new key, um, new texture, so it's a typical trio section. It um, isn't as dramatic, it's more lyrical, and on the next page then is written out by written out da capo, where it says tempo one. And it's almost literally note for note the same as the opening. So, let's put here. But this scherzo has E flat minor for scherzo. The typical dramatic atmosphere. It has the Brahms Hemiolus in it. The trio is in B major. It has new theme, so a contrasting key, new theme. The texture is different, so more thick in the piano part, and has a written out da capo. Try it again.
think a computer wouldn't wear out by 10 years. Okay, let's try this.
Okay. All right, so pass the scores across. Um, so the next test isn't until a week from Tuesday. We'll do the review for that a week from today. So this week, can go ahead and start putting together the review questions and organizing the lesson study. This final section for the course is going to cover 11 German art songs. And then we will do um, four composers of keyboard literature, a Bach prelude and fugue, and then we'll do Beethoven, a late Beethoven sonata, some works by Chopin, and end with a, a big list, Transcendental Etude. And so, um, this next unit um, is going to be an examination of <coughs> Lieder. So Lieder is the German for songs. And <coughs> In the 19th century, the Romantic era, this becomes a really important, very popular genre. It is considered to be um, something which stands above earlier German songs because of the union of, of the vocal and the piano part. So one of the main things that I want to express at the beginning of this is that the singer and the pianist are equal partners. And that they are united in their goal to express all of the literal and psychological elements of this lyric German poetry. So that is going to be one of the basic guiding ideas that we'll use in, in examining this literature. We'll be trying to, to um, describe the way that the composer sets the poetry. And so there are some terms that I want to present um, that describe different aspects of, of this literature. For one thing, it is basically a syllabic set setting of the text. So one note per syllable in general. This is in contrast to an operatic style, an aria style, in which you have a melismatic setting of the text. <coughs> types of forms that would be used. Basically, there are two types. We're going to talk about three, but there are two that are by far the more frequently used. <coughs> the first is called a strophic form. 
So it's strophic if you basically have one melody that's used for several different verses. So like a hymn is an example of a strophic song. something that typically occurs at the end of a strophe, and it's a recurring text melody. So it's something that's the same that comes back at the end of every strophe. Now, usually, um, the composer of 19th century German song won't use uh, a setting that's like a hymn, but instead will write out the return, the restatement of the melody. And so when that happens, it's usually changed a little bit. So the term modified strophic describes that particular type of situation. Modified stroke. So it'd be a written out repeat of melody, but of course you'd have a different text. So that's the basic idea of strophic, is that you have one melody that's then restated several times. Second type is the type that's called through composed. And something that's through composed is just the music following the text, that you don't particularly have an organized way that material returns. It's, it's a freer, um, you know, less structured type. 